On 26 July, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Bharat Mandabam flying a drone. With that, India got a brand new international convention centre. Spread across an approximate campus area of 123 acres, this majestic convention centre is going to be the nerve centre for the G20 summit. This is where the final event of the G20 will take place. This is the Grand Summit meeting room and these chairs made from Indian teak are meant for heads of states. 160 seating capacity in this entire giant hall with of course the host country India and its Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be spearheading the G20 from this very hall. And as you can see the mixture between the Indian and international cultures, another grand chandelier brought in from Czechoslovakia, juxtaposing with it the Indian style paintings that mark a significance and amalgamation of both Indian as well as international cultures. Adorned with artwork from every state in India, it's a swanky, high-tech, ultra-modern convention centre millennium ready, yet steeped in ancient Indian heritage. The depiction of Yogasanas are the starting point of the entrance to the entire Bharat Mandapam at the Pragati Maidan, depicting India's cultural ethos related to yoga and International Yoga Day. Each floor, each room has a distinct imprint of Indian art and culture. This is the area on level 2 where the international dignitaries will come in but they'll be welcomed by the Indian culture of five elements which India holds very dear in all its teachings. And in Devanagari written here, Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jal and Prithvi is the ethos of how India has kept its Indian heritage intact. And with this, we'll begin the G20 pre-area summits where the dignitaries will follow to the main hall. Building of Bharat Mandapam was started in October 2016. Seven years later, it stands as a pride of modern India. Now, exhibitions and conventions go hand in hand. Whenever we have exhibitions, the exhibitors require a convention centre and wherever we have convention centres they require uh, the participants require exhibition space so this was missing now with creation of uh, this facility and Bharat Mantapam International Convention Centre we are able to address this gap and uh, we are able to pose this as an international convention centre which is comparable to the best in the world so this uh, missing, I would say missing link has now been addressed. And now we'll take you to level 3 which has a plenary hall as well as a multi-purpose hall made to equip at least 7,000 people all together for various cluster of events that can be held together at this very platform. The Prime Minister himself has been supervising the construction and his suggestions improved the centre further. See, his, his focus has been on technology and, and he said that wherever we have these artefacts and art, art buildings and all, we should have a QR code so that uh, people just scan and, and come to know about that facility. Right. And now we are putting those QR codes at all these yes, exhibits. Yes, I did see them. Yes. Whether it's an outdoor amphitheatre or an indoor plenary hall, this Bharat Mandapam Convention Centre will be equipped with each and every technology that you see at the international level, whether it's Wi-Fi connectivity or QR code scanners. Even after the G20, the Convention Centre will continue to uphold India's international image of having an international state-of-the-art convention centres. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.